I noticed you haven't started laying yet, Gizmo. If you want to stay in Chickenlandia, you better work, chick. I'm just kidding, honey. <laughs> Actually, Gizmo's probably going to be a decent layer, but she hasn't started yet, even though she's getting close to that age. But I have a feeling I'm going to be waiting a while, and there's a reason for that. In an uncertain world, one thing unites us all. The chicken. From the suburbs to the big city, let's learn an inclusive and stress-free way to raise chickens. Welcome to Chickenlandia. Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but you can call me the president of Chickenlandia. Every year when the weather starts to get colder and the days get shorter, I get lots and lots of messages from people that are like, why aren't my chickens laying eggs? Or, you know, they've reached a point of lay, how come they haven't started laying eggs? And I will tell you right now, there is a perfectly natural reason for this, and we are going to get into that. But first, I wanna start out by sharing some other reasons that aren't so typical, so that you can find out if there's actually something you could do about it. Been just chilling. A little bit cold today. Some of you that have been following me for a long time, you know I have old chickens. My chickens come to Chickenlandia and they live here for their whole life, no matter how long that is. So a lot of my chickens are older and I'm gonna show you one of my oldest ones. Her name is Cinnamon and she's chilling out in here because it's a little bit chilly today. So Cinnamon is nine years old. Oh my gosh, <laughs> better not hit my head. <laughs> She might be my oldest chicken, but I, I don't think so. I think actually Ducky is my oldest chicken and I don't really know how old Ducky is. But I will say that neither of them are laying very well. <laughs> I mean, they're both bantams, so they never laid that great in the first place. They've really slowed down. And that's one thing that you need to know. As your chickens age, they are going to lay less every single year. The first year of their life, they will lay really well, especially if they're laying hens. And then in the second year, that will drop down a little bit. And then in the third year, it's gonna drop down a lot. And then as they get older, it'll just keep continue to drop down every year. So I do get a lot of messages from people that are like, gosh, you know, my chickens aren't laying very well. I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, well, how old are they? And they'll say, well, they're six years old or they're seven years old, the whole flock. And that pretty much tells me that that's the reason why. They're just older hens. They'll still lay a little bit. A lot of my hens are older, but they still lay fairly well. But it's just gonna be less and less every year. And it's super important for you guys to know that so that you know what to expect. I usually recommend that people start out fairly small when they're starting out their whole chicken journey. That way, they can add new chickens or new baby chicks every couple of years and they won't be overwhelmed with chickens, but they'll have lots of eggs. And then the older chickens, of course, will always give you awesome fertilizer for your garden, so don't forget that. <laughs> I've been joined by the uh, little prince of Chickenlandia. A couple of years ago, I did a big makeover for my coop and Julie and Annika helped me with it. They're my friends that they come and help me. It got painted. I painted their roosts. We added some decorations on the walls and it was super fun, but I did not get eggs for a while after I did that. The reason is because my chickens got stressed out from that experience. They don't like any surprises in their lives. So a lot of times when people are like, oh gosh, I don't know why my chickens haven't laid in a month. I'll ask them, okay, did something happen like a month ago that disturbed the flock? And they might be like, well, yeah, I mean, there was a predator attack, but nobody got hurt. It was just kind of scary for them. But that amount of disturbance like really shocked them and stressed them out. And so that is why they stopped laying. That is very common. So if you have a big change in your flock, let's say you move or you put them into a new coop, it might take up to a month for them to settle down and start laying again. A couple of weeks ago, my chicken Lacey 
ended up sick. At first I thought it was a respiratory thing because that's how it presented itself initially, but then I realized that she had some kind of an infection going on internally. So it was pretty serious. Um, she did get some veterinary care and I ended up having to put her in a, on antibiotics, which I very rarely do. I only do it when I absolutely have to. But she's doing much better now. She's back out with the flock. She is not laying right now. And of course, when she got sick, she was not laying. And she's probably not gonna lay until the springtime, which is good because she needs to rest her body. When they're sick, they really need to concentrate on getting better. And so their bodies are not going to be working on laying eggs during that time, which is actually good. That's better for them because it gives them a chance to recover. I know it's hard to tell, but it's actually getting dark. I think it's probably like 3.30 and it's already starting to get dark here. We really don't have a lot of daylight time right now. And chickens need about 14 hours of daylight in order to lay for the most part. I know there's a lot of advice on all kinds of things that you can do during the winter to keep them laying, like giving them extra protein or changing their feed, but really the only guaranteed way that will make your chickens lay during the time of year when the days are so short is to supplement light. I do lean very naturally, so I do like to give them a break in the winter. And the other thing is, they're born with the amount of eggs that they are going to lay in a lifetime, just like people. If you push them to lay, then it is very likely that their laying life will be shorter. And I like to keep my chickens for a really long time until, until they're ready to go over the rainbow bridge. So I like them to be laying for a long time, even if it means I have to buy eggs every once in a while in shame, shrouded in shame. <laughs> but I say this and I don't have an egg business going on. I'm not in a bad situation if I can't provide that protein for my family and everyone's situation is different. So if you need eggs in the winter, I don't want you to feel bad or like you're doing something bad to your chickens. Go ahead and supplement light. Do it safely. And if you can, add the light in the morning rather than in the evening time. It is better for them to have a natural dusk. Another time when your chickens might take a break from laying is during the heat of summer. So if the area that you live in is experiencing a heat wave, then it is very common for chickens to take a break during that time and then start off when it cools off a little bit. A lot of times what happens is people get chickens, they get baby chicks at a certain time and they don't realize that when those baby chicks are going to reach point of lay, it's going to be during a season where chickens are typically not laying. So let's say you get your baby chicks in August and they reach point of lay during a time when the days are shorter. They're not gonna start laying until the days get longer again. So you might be like, what is going on? <laughs> My chickens are six months old. Why are they not laying? Well, it's just not the right time of year. And if they reach the point of lay during a time when it's super duper hot, they're also gonna wait until it cools down a little bit and then they'll start laying. So just be patient. I know it's hard. <laughs> you guys dabbling? During the late summer and early fall, your chickens will go through a molt. During that time, they typically will not lay eggs. I do have one that like laid eggs through her molt, and, but that's really not good for them. They really need that time to just concentrate on growing new feathers so that they can have a nice cozy down coat that's really strong for the winter ahead. I know it's tough, like going to the grocery store and having to buy eggs. When you have chickens, you're supposed to be getting eggs every day, but it's just part of the season that chickens go through because they're participating in nature and nature has seasons. One thing I really like to do in the winter to make sure that my chickens get some good yummy greens in their diet is sprout seeds and grains for them. And if you wanna learn how to do that, just check out this video right here. It's 100% friendly backyard chickens, education and entertainment, and you're gonna love it.